Yo, today I'm bringing you guys another style video and it's an interesting one because I'm talking about seven ways that guys are still dressing wrong. Let's not waste any more time, let's get into it. Now, let me just make this very clear at the start of the video. We are all different people. We are from different cultures, from different countries, and we have different styles. So please understand that in this video, I'll be talking about my own perception, my own point of view of style as based on years of modeling experience, based on my own culture, and just based on myself, my character, who I am as a person and what I like. So if I say anything that you don't agree with, and that's cool because we're different and we have different styles and nobody can really tell you what you should wear. But with that being said, also know that other people will make assumptions about you based on the way that you dress, based on the way that you present yourself. Now, with that said, let's start with the first style mistake some guys make. Daddy shoes. I just don't get, I, I don't understand guys with dirty shoes. I mean, listen, your shoes talk a lot louder than your words, than your mouth, because it tells people a lot about your character. I mean, you can't pitch up for that first date or job interview with dirty shoes or anywhere else for that matter. If you keep wearing your dirty shoes, what do you think people are gonna think? Well, they're gonna think you are dirty because your shoes are dirty all the time. So you look kind of lazy and sleazy because you don't take care of your own things. Look, have some pride in your own belongings. Take care of it, clean it, and have some pride in the way that you represent yourself. Big jeans. Never wear jeans that are too big for you or any other pants for that matter. Why? Because number one, you look sloppy to other people, not professional. And number two, when jeans are too big for you, you usually make the belt tighter, right? So it won't fall off. But then you get this extra material here in the front and that might give people the wrong impression when they see it. So how do you determine the right size for you? Well, you test it. Take two fingers and push it between your hip and your waistband. If it fits, it's the right size. If there's more space, it's too big. And if you can't fit in your two fingers, it's too small. The hanging jeans. <laughs> I just can't get over this one. It's 2021 already and this style is way in the past. It's really so disrespectful because no one wants to see your underwear brand or your bum hanging out all the time. And there's almost no style out there like this one that shows people that you are kind of lazy and arrogant and walking around like you just don't care about anything and anyone but yourself. Big brand names. Look, for some reason, some guys think if they wear big brands, it will make other people like them more for some reason. And they want to show it off. Look, I'm wearing cool brands, look at me. It doesn't make you a better person. You don't suddenly become pff, a cooler guy. You're still you, with or without branded names. Now look, I've worked for some big brands as a model. Let me tell you, you should never buy it just for the name. When you go and you buy clothing, only buy it for the right combination of style, quality, comfort, and price. Those four things need to go together in a perfect balance. These big brands out there, they just hike up the prices, not because of the quality, but because of the name of the brand. Now, another very important reason why you should not wear big branded clothing is because they use a very clever marketing strategy by printing those names big on your clothing and you walk around with it. So you're a walking advertisement for them. Did they pay you? Did you get money for it? No. So why advertise for them? Unless you really like the brand, then it's probably fine. Sandals with socks. 
Look, <laughs> I know some guys, they like it. <laughs> In some cultures, they're used to it. And that's fine. But for me, I just don't get it. Because for me personally, it looks terrible. And also it defeats the purpose. It defeats the purpose of wearing sandals, especially in summer. Sandals are made so that your feet can get air when it's hot. But now you go and you put socks on them. Socks are made for shoes, not sandals. Pants that are too tight. Look, slim fit pants are cool. They're great. I love them. Especially if you go and tailor them to fit with your unique legs, right? Because everybody's legs are different. But when they're too tight, oh my goodness, it looks terrible. And I can feel your pain, <laughs> especially in the crotch area. No, just no, guys. Huge belt buckles. I mean, there was a time when it was in, but that was a long time ago. So unless you're a cowboy, <laughs> then don't do it. If you are a cowboy, then that's cool. You go for it, you do your thing. But if not, maybe it's time you change your style. Now, just because you've watched all the way to the end, I've got a bonus tip for you. Matching the wrong colors. Look, you gotta, you gotta learn the basics of color matching. If you just wear the same color for your whole outfit, it's not gonna look great. Well, unless it's neutral colors, like black, for example. Now I've got a whole video for you that will teach you the basics of color matching. It's definitely gonna help you out. You can watch it after this video. Now, when it comes to style, always remember this. Even if you have the most expensive clothing in the world and the best style, you'll still look terrible if you wear it with an arrogant, puffed up personality. Mm -mm. The best thing that you can wear is confidence with humbleness. Now, always remember, life is short, so don't waste it. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.